Morning, morning, everybody. Michelle is here. Michelle is here in your face on this Saturday, um, April the 27th, 2024. And the place to be. Yes, I'm very, very, I'm up very early. Um, because, you know, there's things that I'm working on and things going on. And so I thought I'd change up. I told you a lot of changing is coming. A lot of changing. And, um... I want to come in and do my share as to sharing, you know, and preparing people as best I can. So this video is going to be a riddle, okay? It's going to be a riddle, and, you know, I know a lot of people like riddles, okay? And riddles is how you can evolve your consciousness. You, you know why? Because it involves you participating and attempting to figure things out. Stand by just one. All right, all right. Let me get comfortable here. So, the lighting may be off. You know, I may turn it off in a minute because I don't like all of that light. But, you know, whatever. Uh, I know, you know, you just want to be, I just want to be heard more than seen, to be honest with you. Just hear me. You know, so you can, so that's why I'm going to put up a lot of my videos as a podcast as well so you can listen you know listening is so important and a lot of us do not listen unfortunately and therefore we get ourselves in so much bullshit that it takes years generations centuries to get ourselves out of it and that has been proven so some things were on my mind so that's probably why I got up rather early to um you know, put out a riddle, you know, I like putting out riddles, and like I said, with the riddle, let's see what, they, see if they've changed that, you know, since everything else is changing. All right. Mm -mm -mm. You know, because I think that's 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 what I mean when I say you have to be creative. You do. You have to really be creative to help people and to teach them. You know, um, and, and, and you know, have them participate in it. A lot of people like to feel included, and we all know that we're not including people. There's a lot of stuff going on in the backgrounds, and it's affecting every one of us, even the ones who believe. That they're benefiting right now. And I'll explain that as, as we go on here. So a riddle is a statement, question, or phrase having a double or veiled meaning. Put forth as a puzzle to be solved. Exactly. That's exactly what I'm doing with my, how I do things. You know, I just want to be creative and I want people to, um, Enjoy the moments because that's important. Regardless of what's happening to us, you still need to enjoy the moments. You still need to evolve your consciousness. There's no way around it. It's just unfortunate because, like I said, a lot of people are going to be rolling in their graves, so to speak, okay, or turning in their graves. So a lot of things have been bothering me for a while and I told you for me I like to know what is going on what is going on and so many people have been so clever unfortunately and so called sophisticated over years over decades over centuries over thousands of years maybe millions of years where you know you know, things things are just happening and happening and happening and they're right before our eyes and we just miss it every time. That includes me, you know. I'm not I'm I'm a part of this. It's I, we and us. I'm a part of it. So when I'm speaking to you, I'm speaking to me. All right? So So when you turn so what it says here turns turn in one's grave. Um, you know, it, it describes a an extreme level of shock 
an intense level of surprise. So yes, people are going to be surprised as well. But I think more so than surprise, they're going to be um, there's going to be anger too. Surprise is an emotion. Um, it's a brief, if a, a brief mental and psychological state. You know, you're being startled. You know, it's like what? You know, and usually is uh, associated with uh, the the uh, fight or flight response as well. So you know, hey. Um, what I'm like I said, I'm gonna do um, this video is gonna be a riddle, so that means it's, it's, it's not necessarily rambling per se, but you know, hey, it could be, I mean, rambling and real, you know, and having riddles all usually have meaning to them, you know. And those of you that have been paying attention to me all, all this time since 2022, <laughs> you know, because 2022 is when I decided to get back onto the social media platform per se because uh things were happening and i felt something was happening oh god what year i can't remember exactly what year i, I could say 20 maybe 2008 yeah 2008 2007 2008 was very significant for me so chances are it was around that that area you know around that time frame i should say where there was just a lot of series of events happening okay because during that time i was struggling to make ends meet I had a great job but I was struggling to make ends meet struggling to pay my bills I had investment property but yet I still could not put food on my table at sometimes okay I could not afford a television I could not afford cable so all I had was a laptop and some books in my imagination and that's that you know and that that is what I had and what I used to help me to get to where I am now. And I started reading a lot more, thinking a lot more, meditating a lot. You know, you know what? As a matter of fact, I stopped meditating during that time. I mean, look, when I say stop meditating, I, you know, you're always meditating because meditating to me is a form of thinking. It's a form of concentrating, being aware. So it's not like I got down on the lotus and start meditating. What I did was apply what I had attained by meditation to help me get through that period of my life because sometimes you're not going to be able to sit down in the lotus okay that's why that's why i put out a video a while back for a group of people uh it's it's like it's a grounding yourself in your reality type of video where you're just standing there just stands you know a lot of people just don't stand or just sit or lay down and just be in that moment you know, but anyway, so a lot of things have, have been going on and, and it's kind of troubling to me as well because I, like I said, I like to figure out what, I want to know what's going on. Okay. What is going on? And so, and so many things, I mean, I know certain things, people are not going to listen unless it affects them. Let's just be very clear and effective about that. Nobody is going to listen to what's going on in the world. My, my shirt here. Just wanted to show you that evolution of the consciousness but anyway a lot of people are not going to listen to you pay attention to you unless it affects them and unless it affects the food the food going in or out of their mouths right or you know they it affects their bottom line okay it affects their neighborhood it affects their associates you know it affects their you know their feet their sphere of people of you know and so we all know that you know that those of us that are you know like the pyramid style leadership and we all know that it you know that there's only a, a few people that are a uh, so-called benefiting from the backs of hard-working people you know the hard-working people are the ones that have built this city have built this country and 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 they know that they will not ever be um acknowledged as as doing so but but a whole lot of things are taking place that even the pyramids those in the pyramids were not prepared for 
And they're the ones that are going to suffer a lot of repercussions themselves. They're going to be, they're going to reap what they've sown. Um, uh, finally, I, I, I will say, finally, they're going to, they're going to eat what they have been putting out to people. They're going to eat the shit that they have been serving all of us for years, decades and such. And that's literally, figuratively and metaphorically. So, so I got up thinking about something that, that, that's been bothering me. And I know some things are going on, unfortunately. So that's why I said it was so important that we all got out there and, and, and control our narratives, especially on this social media platform. Control your narrative, okay? You know, put your story out there. I know a lot of people are tired of hearing other people's story, and there's a reason for that, okay? Thus, that's part of the riddle, and you just have to figure that out. But there's a reason why uh, most people do not want to hear other people's stories. There's a reason behind that. So that's why it's so important to do so. Control your narrative. I give credit to, like I said, this uh, this uh, hip-hop, R&B, executive, producer, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to say his name for for saying that one day. I, you know, I'm listening to something. And then he, and what was happening is that he's just going along, minding his own goddamn business. And then all of a sudden, uh, apparently, he started reading stuff. You know, because once you get in the public eye, unfortunately, anything can be going on behind the scenes. And you have no idea what's going on, especially if you're just living your life, minding your own business. So a lot of people claim that they're minding their own business, but that's another riddle to figure out. Riddle. That's another riddle to figure out. When people say that they they want you, a lot of people are telling you to mind your own business for a reason. Okay, and I say protect your business, protect yourself, control your narrative, tell your story. Okay, there's a reason why people keep saying that. And I don't think people realize why they're saying it. They're just saying it because they, they believe that that's what you're supposed to do. You know, minding your own business. Well, let's see what that says. Because I'm telling you, words are words can put people in trances and indoctrinate people. So you need to really pay attention to what people are tell keep telling you to do when they don't realize what that means. So, there's a lot of, a lot of, there's a lot of uh, information if you just pay attention to the words you're using. And sometimes the word you're using is putting money in some, some people's pockets, by the way. That's a riddle. So, um, again, there's, there's, energy behind words even if you do not know exactly um why you know why you're saying like i told you there's this four letter word that a lot of people say it for everything for you know for every almost daily they're saying this word and they're just putting keeping themselves in trances so what it says about minding your business is um doesn't mean stepping back in every situation, but practice gaining control of your emotions if your natural instinct is to intervene. Okay, this is this this is from the internet. You know, you, you know, anyone can go onto the internet, type it in there, and, and look at what the definitions are. And this sounds good. It says instead of re reacting instantly to an issue, sit with your emotions for a day or two so you can develop a rational response. That's what it means by minding your own business. And I like that definition because it's kind of in, in alignment of what I'm attempting to say and what I'm attempting to tell people. I know a lot of people do not. And I know this, I mean, it's proven that no most people have no idea what they're talking about. And that's not that's not degrading them, but they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know what they're saying. They don't understand the sounds and tones that are coming out of their mouths. Okay, and does it, and the sounds and tones are regulated by what you're thinking about. Whatever the sounds and tones that you are, or the melody or the rhythm that you have with your thinking, that is what produces what you say in most cases. 
Um, but you can be very sophisticated and be and be saying, you know, playing another sounds and tones here, but able to 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 say something else out of your mouth. But all you have to do is rationally sit back and pay attention to the behaviors and actions and results. And that usually helps you to figure out, okay, now I'm going to throw another concept out at you. It's called the Ponzi scheme. Ponzi scheme is a form of fraud that lures investors and pays profit to earlier investors with funds from more recent investors. Okay? Pay attention to what I just said there with Ponzi schemes. Okay? I guess it was it was a Ponzi scheme was as a result of someone named Charles Ponzi. He was an, an Italian. Keep that in mind for a moment, please. Or just remember that Charles Ponzi was an Italian. Okay? Where are the Italians now? Hmm. So, again, it's a form of fraud that lures investors and pays profit to earlier investors with funds from more recent investors. Pay attention to that and you'll understand that's part of the riddle as well. All right. So certain things have been bothering me for a while. And it, you know, you know, because of our, so a lot of people ha have a desperation in their, in their, in their, in their motion, in their, um, behaviors and actions there's desperation okay let's go back to what that means there's a desperation and it's to your detriment actually to be desperate because that means you're not thinking properly anyone that's desperate is not thinking properly okay okay so i, I say that for a minute i mean i said that for a mo uh, for a reason when some okay when someone is being clearly when someone's is calm with you okay just picture this if someone's calm with you and they're telling you something and you are applying logic rational and reasonable thinking to what this person is telling you this person is not excited this person is not you know cuz i used to i was that way growing up you know I used to get so excited and, and and attempting to get, you know, tell tell people something or, or tell somebody that something's going on, something's going on. And I was always told, you know, calm down. And that's true. You know, even if you're a child, uh, you, you, unfortunately, parents are going to have to teach their children to be calm, but yet um, forceful. And what they are attempting to relay to their parents. Because children for, I guess from the beginning of time, have been, been attempting to warn their parents about stuff. And then the parents dismiss them. Is that true? Just think about it. Consider it. No one has to know. All right, here we go. Desperate. It says, it's having lost all hope. Disparate, you know, disparity. Di Despairing, reckless, or violence because of despair. Reckless and violence because of despair. Okay, I do not operate in those in that kind of um, capacity at all. Okay, since I started meditation, that type of desperation and and carrying on like that—that's not part of my thinking. Okay, I make that very. Uh, I make that. I make a uh, a considerable a considerable effort. To be speaking clearly and effectively as best I can. Yes, I have a speech impediment. Sometimes I stutter. Sometimes this or that, and you know, I mispronounce words. This or that, and the other. But for the most part, uh, I do articulate properly to get my point across. Okay, and then I had to uh, so many years of uh, as a first responder where you had to develop those skills. Otherwise, people will be running all over you. People will be dying on your watch, and this and that and the other. Okay, so that's very, very, very important 
to be cl to do everything you, you can to communicate and discuss stuff with people as clearly and as effectively as you can and and, and, and 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 understand the modalities of people or how they express themselves okay again um, something has been bothering me for a while and it's um, you know it's part of developing really it's part of developing and and um, being honest with yourself okay what is really going on here is and so there's a lot of smoke and mirrors going on there's a lot of smoke and mirrors and unfortunately um, if I say it out directly people will say oh you know they'll dismiss it okay so that's why I say hey make it be creative and you have to I say this to genuine creative people that are like myself you have to be creative and find out what is really going on because what is going on is affecting you and you may not know this and it's been happening uh it's been happening for for thousands of years but since the the since the um, inception of social media social media okay um it, it it's ramping up and it's involving a whole lot of people that that's that's troubling to me and saddens me, you know, because um, it's all about greed. Okay. I put out a post the other day. I said, a lot of people are broke. Okay. When someone's, see, that's when people get desperate. Let's understand that. When people are, when people are uh, desperate and no food on the table, they don't know when any type of income is coming in, this and that, they get desperate. And desperate times does what? Well, actually, it's desperate thinking. When someone's desperate in their thinking, guess what happens? They usually, uh, they, you know, let's put it this way. When someone's thinking desperately, why are they thinking desperately? Just ask that kind of question when you are contemplating, cultivating, and working on this riddle that I'm talking about that's... Uh, that can be devastating if people do not snap out of their trance and wake up. I cannot necessarily say what it is or because I don't know. But I know that a lot of people get a lot of people have been warning us with music especially and the titles of certain albums back in the day and the certain t sounds and tones like I said the words, the lyrics, people have been warning us for decades upon decades, thousands of years, hundreds of years, and no one is paying attention. But I know there are good-hearted, well-meaning people out there that love to solve things and love to find resolutions to things, but they know that they are always, they always meet that concrete ceiling and it goes nowhere. Um, I remember this young this young man who got got himself in you know got himself into a career, and when he went into that career, he was head first. He was he was in it, in it, in it, in it. And I I I know, I know for a fact, know for a fact, this this young man had the best intentions. But he was going up against um, show ponies and he was going up against um, smoke and mirrors, um, hidden hands, um, theater. Um, and in other words, he was going up against, um, you know, like entering into a uh, production of a play, uh, the uh, you know, production of a theater. In other words... When he pulled back the veil, he was so happy, and he and he had every right to because he had the right intentions. But when he realized, when he opened the veils, he realized there was nothing there. It was all props, theater. So he attempted to. Um, he attempted to reinvent the wheel, but a lot of people always dismiss that. Oh no, 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 no! Don't reinvent the wheel. Don't, don't. And a lot of people don't realize what they're saying when they do when they say that. And how that keeps you um, stagnated when you say, do not reinvent the wheel. Let me see what that means. 
and a metaphor. But this young man attempted to do so. And what happened is he almost lost his life. Okay. So, and I think he, um, and, the reason he, and the reason he almost lost his life is because he was uncovering, he, he went behind the curtain and he was not supposed to. Okay. And he started saying things that he was uh, not necessarily supposed to say. But he ought to have been allowed to say it and that's where you that's where creativity comes in that's where creativity you have to be creative you have to all right so do not reinvent the wheel it's like what people say it says here to reinvent the wheel means to waste time and effort trying to create or solve something that already exists and has been resolved by something el by someone else. Hmm. Is that true? Let's see what this says here. The meaning of reinvent the wheel is to waste time trying to do something that has our okay, this says the same thing. To reinvent the wheel is to attempt to duplicate, most likely with inferior results. Okay? That's, that's what it says here. You know, if you are attempting to reinvent the wheel, you're wasting time. And they claim that um, in this one meaning here, it says to waste time trying, and I do not, I, I, that word bothers me when it's used, and, you know, I'll go into that later, to waste time trying to create something that someone else has already created, all right? Keep that in mind. Keep that as part of the riddle. So, again, um, we do not listen, unfortunately. And the reason is because of our desperate thinking. We're desperate, desperately thinking. And we feel as though, um, you know, and, and what, what, what it does is cause you to, um, you know, kind of, you know, be all over the place. It's like, when you're desperate, you 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 lost all hope. And so when you do that, you know you become reckless. You do, you do. You, you know it, it's it's it, you know your behaviors are uh, reckless and kind of you know you 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 being irresponsible and you know you're making a whole lot of mistakes, unnecessary mistakes. So again, with me. I had to learn how to calm myself down and speak clearly and effectively. Okay, and so, I mean, do, am I, do, you know, as you're watching me, do I appear reckless? Do I, do, am I, you know, all over the place and, you know, you know, uh, my emotions, are my emotions out of control right now? Okay, all right. But... What has happened over the, over the course of time? Because we do not hold people accountable for any of their behavior. We do not. We have allowed sophisticated behaviors to take center, center stage. Okay, and what that means is that it doesn't matter what anyone does in in that pyramid style of leadership, or in that pyramid style of investing, or in that pyramid style. We will not. We we. It happens to us silently, and what does that mean? Well, it means it's taken out of, it's taken away from us, and we don't recognize recognize that it's gone. You know, like in say for example, you're supposed to get a thousand dollars, but you pop if you you're lucky if you get three hundred. And for some people, because they are so desperate to feed their children, so they say, or pay these bills, they'll accept it and say, oh, you know, and and and, and broadcast it all over the place. 
mm-hmm. that they got three hundred dollars, but someone else has is making, you know, thirteen hundred dollars. So, what, would you rather have three hundred dollars, or would you rather have thirteen hundred? Think about it, and remember what I said about Ponzi schemes. All right. So, the riddles. There's a lot of riddles in life, and riddles in life causes you to be engaged in what is really going on. Okay, something is really, really going on on the social media platform, and a lot of people are being uh, are unsuspectingly involved, and some may not know that they're being used to do certain things. Then some people may not know that they're being used to um, to get certain data. Um, you know, and what's happening is, um, it's happening to creative type people. And unfortunately, like I said about creative type people, usually they are the ones that are get kind of desperate and they are usually are the ones that end up homeless. Okay. Broke. All right. In other words, someone else is pulling the strings. And you think, as a creative, that's you're doing that. You know, you're making things happen. Yeah, you're making things happen, but not for you. Okay? At some point, you know, once once you do the dirty deeds, the, it doesn't matter what, what your title is. You can be a CEO or you can be a cashier. You're being affected as well, CEOs. All of us are, as a matter of fact, who are refusing to reinvent the wheel, okay? So, again, like I said, um, certain people have been attempting to warn us about things because, you know, as a creative person, um, you know, that's a fascinating ability, actually. And it's it's more closer to being normal than not when you're thinking creatively. But we have been giving we have been giving creative types all these labels. Oh no, you're artistic, you're genius, you know, you are uh, uh, attention deficit, you are uh, this or that and the other. When in actuality, you may be completely normal in a dysfunctional uh, uh, maze of smoke and mirrors and hidden uh, hidden agendas. But uh, something deep within you is picking something else up. You know, you're being told this. Somebody's telling you this. But your being, B-E-I-N-G, is saying something else. And so you so you start acting weird. Okay, you start acting strange. And this is different from uh, degeneracy. Okay, this is different from being degenerate. Because when people are degenerate, that's... That's something else, and we'll talk about you know degenerate and being um, perversive. You know, I'm talking about genuine creative types that have the best intentions to help and, and serve humanity. They love humanity. Okay, I can think of several that do everything in their power to attempt to alert us to things going on, and then all of a sudden this person gets. Um, uh, called out and you know his medication seems to you could tell that there's something going on with the with the medication with people because unfortunately the psychiatrists and psychologists that's what they use now they they, you know it's medication for everything and of course medication is what you know and over time over a course of time it becomes poison right that's why you really ought not to be on them on a certain type of medication for so long it becomes a poison to you your body can naturally heal itself, but we have allowed uh, pharmaceutical type, um, you know, remedies to things instead of, you know, like when I had mine, when I went into counseling, you know, back in the day in my middle 20s, you know, I, I had, a like I said, my counselor was a white female of Jewish descent. And she talked clearly and effective to me and made it very clear and effective what was going on with me. She didn't try to hold my hand like a baby. I was an adult. 
Okay. And so a lot of these psychiatrists and psychologists just don't just ran out of patience. When, when the medication started coming through here, let the medication deal with that. You know, and some of us need medication. Yes. And that has to do with the climate. Our, our bodies, the, we are part of this world. We're part of this universe. And if something is not balanced properly, where is it going to show up at? It's going to show up inside of us. It's going to show up inside of me. It's going to show up inside of you. And how we are behaving and acting. Pay attention to the animals. Pay attention to why animals are coming up on the shore of certain beaches. You know, you have uh, dolphins and, and whales and all of these type of animals. Fish showing up on the shores, dead. Millions of millions of fish, it, which is food, dead on the shores. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and throw out another word, and I'm going to call it, you know, and, and uh, let's see how this how this first part of this riddle gets, gets uh, I just want you to entertain what I'm talking about and start paying attention a little bit more. And I'm talking to the ones that know better, that enjoy these type of uh, adventures into the mind of themselves, the adventures of the innermost being of themselves. And so they can figure out, okay, what is really going on? There's a lot of information out there for all of us to be able to figure things out without having to ask anybody about it. But you can confer with other people. You can have discussions and conversations, yes. But you're figuring it out on your own. Okay, you're trusting yourself. If something feels funny, okay, it possibly is. Especially if you put in the work. You're not just, you're not just, you know, falling in formation. You know, being afraid. You know. And there's a reason to be af there's a reason to be afraid, and that's where I say creativity comes in. I know some of you are in certain levels of employment, and like I said, I would not dare. I mean, I would not dare risk my employment when when I'm responsible for, especially if you have children. You know, especially for yourself, why would you risk your employment? Now, if something's devastatingly, if something's going on, see how you can. You know, have proof of it and see if you can come together with others that may be experiencing the same thing and see how we can work this out. Okay? Um, again, I'm telling you, certain activities that we participate in are not only dangerous, they're dangerous to the environment, they're dangerous to uh, communities, neighborhoods, to the infrastructure, Pay attention. Pay attention to your behaviors and actions and see if you can back it up and say, okay, what am I thinking about and why am I thinking this way? All right, so I'm going to leave. Uh, and so, again, there are certain people that have been attempting to warn us about stuff for for decades, you know, in a, in a creative style because that's all you can do. Um, let me see here. There, you know, like I said, creativity is a fantastic way to to reach people. A lot of people use, say, humor is. Humor has its um, value as well, but the but humor. A lot of people with the humor are have not managed their emotions, and so that's why they sometimes they can be inconsistent. That's all. Figure that out and figure out what that means. Okay, I'm I'm gonna. I'm going to leave with something that, like I said, there are some very, very creative people out there that are doing everything in their power to wake us up. Um, and I, I want to, I want to, I want to use, I want to say it without necessarily bringing the individual in. Let me see. There, you know, th this is a metaphor. You know, this metaphor. Uh, may not. Okay, let me see if I can find it here. Uh, 
Okay, it's it's it's, it's a symbolism, symbolism, meaning um, it can be positive and or encouraging, reminding us to be patient, seize the opportunities presented to us, take care of our communities. I like that meaning. I don't know who put that out, but that's that's a good meaning. Um, but. Well, I'll say vultures. Understand the meaning of a vulture. Okay? So, I'm going to stop right there. You know, that's all for now on this this uh, turning out to be a beautiful morning. It usually is for me. I enjoy getting up in the morning and, you know, and, and, and thinking. You know, things are changing for me. And I'm going to be, it's going to be reflective in the things I do. I care about people. I care about the creative, the genuine creatives. I care about entrepreneurs. I care about women. But I do send universal love to everybody. I care about everybody. But we have to reinvent the wheel. Okay, it's no longer business as usual. So use this opportunities that you have to be creative, okay, to um, to figure it out and connect the dots. What's happening now uh, as far as... Um, what's happening on social media platform. Um, you know, just, just pay attention to how that is structured and who's benefiting. Like I said, you're getting $300, but somebody else is getting almost 1300 or maybe thir three, uh, thir uh, you're getting 300. Someone may be getting 1300. Okay. Or 13,000. And you tell me which one do you prefer? Because you it's coming from you. Okay, you created it, but who's benefiting? Start there. See if you can handle this riddle, this riddle for this morning on this uh, Saturday. Is it Saturday? Saturday, April the 27th, 2024. I'm going to go ahead and send peace and love all over the stars and moon and mountains. I'm going to say bye for now, but trust me, I'll be back.